Hello and welcome to the weekly cryptocurrency review. My name is Bowen and this week we're going to look at the market as we do every week. This week I want to talk about something special which is Consensus 2018. This is a blockchain, excuse me, a blockchain event hosted by Coindesk happening in New York City representing blockchain enthusiasts, cryptocurrency CEOs and speakers etc from around the world if you want to take a quick look at who is actually speaking you can go to coindesk.com events consensus 2018 speakers and i could read them out to you but that would take me a while in addition there's just being a lot of people which doesn't mean much there are some really big names who are going to be speaking at coindesk um and excuse me at the consensus in addition to just um the big names that are speaking, they're going to be certain representatives for certain cryptocurrencies speaking. The first one being at 11 a.m., 11 15 a.m., which already happened. Um, the Ripo Credit Network already spoke um, with Mr. Sebastian Serrano um, as their speaker. And as we go down, you can notice it happens more. We are finding more and more people um, from cryptocurrencies appear to talk about it. Although you can't see here, we have Stellar right here, Unicoin. Um, but if you look down, we also have U.S. House of Representatives from a legislator's perspective, you know, Parliament, uh, Chamber of Digital Commerce. This is really big stuff here. And if the more we go down, you know, this is uh, their actual schedule. You just go to Consensus 2018 Agenda um, or just look it up. <laughs> you will find you're going to find some really, really big names in the space, along with really big names in the cryptocurrency world. Um, with this, I think if you are just looking for price, this is not investment advice, but I do think there will be big spikes in price if the things that people say are bullish especially when they're talking about their own um, their own blockchain their own cryptocurrency that they have built um, I'm trying to look for the next one the thing is they have a lot of people speaking for multiple days so it's hard to always find exactly what I'm looking for but we are looking Ah, here we go. This is one. Um, so we're going to see a lot of people speaking here that are going to say stuff because they're talking about finance, insurance, and industry. They're going to be talking about certain cryptocurrencies and the purpose of them. Um, the world of tokens, once again. We're seeing people from Coindesk. And there's VeChain. CryptoKitties has actually appeared. But, you know, there there is uh, just some examples of people who are from this space who are going to be talking about their own cryptos probably a little bit there. I could keep scrolling, but as you can see, it keeps going. So without further ado, let's jump right into CoinMarketCap. Let's look at our top five. And today in our top five, we're seeing the same top five as last week. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, and Litecoin in sixth, which I know is not fifth. But it is sixth. Cardano now falling a little bit behind Litecoin, even though it was very close. And Litecoin now right, I mean, Stellar, Stellar right behind Cardano. This is interesting seeing Stellar catch up. We're seeing Litecoin a little bit speed ahead as these guys falter. So realistically, Litecoin isn't speeding ahead, but Cardano and Stellar are slowing down. We're going to look at our percentage of total market capitalization in terms of dominance, as we always do. And if you'll notice, while we were having this bull run, we're having a small setback, which happens. If you can see during our massive bull run here, we had a setback right here. And looking down, what's actually happening? Because this is something I wanted to look at because we're seeing prices fall. Something I thought was really interesting is we saw Bitcoin hit a minimum of 35% dominance, spike up, and now it's falling back down, with others also falling back down. So where is this going? Because if both of their market caps are receding, where could it be going to? Well, it is just going to other players in the in the space um, as you can see Bitcoin has gone up but others has gone down we are seeing especially ethereum has been having an uptrend taking over a lot of that now up to almost 18 percent really close just under um, and it's taking over some of that we are not seeing most of the other others of these taking it over because the Litecoin's reversing a little bit um, and that's pretty pretty much it but, um, you know, really it's just Ethereum and Litecoin, but mostly just Ethereum taking over um, that market cap that was being held back um, from others and Ethereum. This was also, again, the highest we've ever seen others reach at 27%. 
we are back down now to 25%. I think this will be interesting because as, as long as Ethereum and others keep rising and Bitcoin goes down, we could see a flipping occur. And we also could see, and if you don't know what the flipping is, check it out. It's one of our other videos. Really cool. And we are seeing others go down. But as others was going up, we are seeing the price spike from them. Um, so we're going to keep watching that. And I'm going to go talk about others in just one second. Um, because as you know, I believe they move very similarly to each other. So first, let's look at Bitcoin. I have a graph of Bitcoin up here with some vertical lines you may notice. These vertical lines are every time the global market cap was at the same amount it's at right now or somewhere similar. So right now we're under just $400 billion. I went through and marked off every single time that was just under $400 million. And I want to show you guys the price difference. Right here, we have a high of $13,700. Um, this was when, let's see if I can find it without looking to, there we go. So Bitcoin right here. So the price, um, no, here it is. This day it was 387. Next day, oh, let's try this again. 387, next day it was 443. So really it's quite hard to get. It's around the 10th to the 11th-ish. I have it set as the, Seventh. Oh, wait. Okay, that makes sense. So this is the seventh right here, right when this was the shift. Okay, from 377 to 405. That's what I meant to say before. Whew. And the second line is this other one I have right here. Let's go back to it. Yep, there it is. So this is the seventh and this is the 11th right here. Or the 10th to the 11th right here. And you can see basically the price is ranging anywhere from all the way down here to up here. But in general, I'm just going to put a median of right there that's where the price was when the overall market cap was exactly um, where it is right now next let's put a median of these two lines because again we had a little little fluctuation for it to reach there that was right here i want to say i think that was right here let's check to see if i was right i just did this but i'm forgetful already <laughs> yep that was around just there um february 4th so around right here it was at a very similar market cap, and the average was again as it dropped right around three, two, there. Next up, we have again when it dropped before I could show you, but I'm just gonna ask you guys to trust me on it right here when it dropped right here, and now we are right here. So, in terms of looking at the average price, well, it's awfully confusing. These are purple, and the current price line is red, but. No, it's fine. Um, if you look at the average price when the market cap has been this low, back when we were in a bullish market, we saw it all the way up here. We're now in a bearish market. We're seeing pretty consistent um, around the 8,500 range. I think that's very interesting and important to look at. Why is it important to look at? Well, with our market cap dropping or rising, you can usually predict the price of Bitcoin as it goes. As Bitcoin's overall supply uh, starts changing less and less, it really is its price that's changing its market cap almost fully. So it's interesting that now that more Bitcoin has been mined, with this market cap being lower and the overall market cap being lower of the overall market, you can tell that it's lower. Versus here, the market cap of the overall market was huge as altcoins also flew off the walls and Bitcoin went up in price. But the overall market cap was still the same because there simply were less overall cryptocurrencies. This shows that there are less altcoins. This shows that there are now more. Simple as that, right? Um, and I think it's very important to look at with Bitcoin going down. We also have Bitcoin have this nice run up and people thought this was the next bull run. We're having a slight pullback. I do think this will reverse for a little bit. And then I think we'll have to see if it retests this sort of line right here. Um, I think this is going to be a strong resistance line. Um, but also, you have to remember that whales control the market. And as whales do, they like to let you believe that your TA is right, break it slightly so people either panic sell or panic buy, and then do the opposite to control the market. That is what is frequently done by them. And I think it's important to watch this. Um, oh, I think it's important to watch this line right here. And I think it's important to watch the market um, as it might slightly break TA, but then continue on because that is what Bitcoin does. Next, I want to look at Ethereum, and with talking about right here, right here, <laughs> how Ethereum has been gaining dominance, we'll also notice on the daily, 
with Bitcoin dipping, we had a slight Ethereum dip, a nice, actually a beautiful flag that it perfectly played out. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Music to my eyes, um, if that's a saying. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, I don't want the magnet tool on. Um, you know, there's my quickly drawn flag. but A beautiful flag, which it then is taken off of. And Ethereum is continuing upwards, which is just gorgeous. It's the only one that is, it's the only crypto that has really continued this shape very perfectly, although they all made it to around this point. Some then went down, some then went up, some stagnated. Ethereum has really continued this cup shape, and we'll, I'm curious to see how high it gets. Can it get to point one Bitcoin once again? Um, that would be truly exceptional if it could get there. Right, boom right there and I think it's totally possible as you can see we've reached it not just once or twice before but we've reached it a good few times before Ethereum has been very strong in the space and I think it will continue and come back in this next whether it's a bull run or a generally bull market or just a regular market <laughs> which I think a lot of people forget that it can just be a market where Bitcoin goes up and down generally and doesn't have a very bullish or bearish direction it just kind of goes um, and everything else goes with it um, I think that's very possible for the crypto market next up I want to look at ripple our number three in the space by a lot down, um, a lot further down than Ethereum and Bitcoin, with Ethereum still under half of Bitcoin, Ripple 28, Bitcoin Crash 23. You can see Ripple is kind of doing its normal thing. What I was talking about making that cup position, but now it came back down. And it's coming back up a little bit just as Bitcoin comes up a little bit. But, you know, I don't think that's anything too much to be watchful of. Um, I think a th uh, Ripple hasn't had very big news lately, although if it's talked during the consensus, if industrial investing um, is really hyped up during the consensus, I think Ripple could see big movement. Next up is Bitcoin Cash. You guys all know who I f how I feel about Bitcoin Cash. Came back when Bitcoin went up, now it's going down with Bitcoin. That's it. Not too much else to say. It's a ripoff of Bitcoin. Let's move on. EOS. EOS is exceptional. Look at it fly. I made a beautiful cup and handle. And then it just took off. And now we're seeing it come back with what you could consider the largest flag anyone has ever seen. Which I think you wouldn't be wrong for saying it. But I wouldn't say you would be right for saying it either. This is more so... Um, and remember, I'm very just very loosely drawing these lines. Just to give our minds kind of a general picture. You could say that's a flag. But really, I'd say it's just having a strong pullback. Will EOS continue? I don't think so. And if it does, I will be surprised, I will admit. Given that EOS is still pretty much an ICO, it does not have a release product and it does not have anywhere it's going specifically. It has a great idea, but doesn't have the tech behind it, which, you know, something that isn't actually a product. Would you buy an amazing theoretical chair? Would you, would you get a TV that theoretically had great qualities? But when you bought it, you didn't actually get anything? No, you wouldn't. And EOS is exactly that right now. It's tokenized um, for the purpose of use. But if you can't use it, all this has just been inflation. I do think EOS is going to come crashing back down. Whether slowly or quickly, it will happen, in my opinion. Going back to talking about the consensus, because I think that's what I really wanted to be talking about today. Talking about the consensus, we are seeing a lot of people from a lot of different cryptocurrencies coming, including ARK. Let me just look up ARK. Oh, well, most of this is just going to be marketing. ARK investing. We are seeing people from, uh, let me think, VeChain. Yep, we're seeing people from VeChain. I think we're seeing SYS. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> my apologies. Well, there's a lot to remember, so uh, my apologies. But we are seeing um, a lot of people from a lot of different cryptocurrencies in the space talking. And I think we're going to see some huge movement um, in the cryptocurrencies that they talk about. And in addition, I think we're going to learn, if you watch any of it, I've been watching it live this morning, um, or this afternoon. But um, I've been watching this and you learn so much from watching you get to see some of the smartest minds in the space speak about it and uh evolve what you think uh change what you know about cryptocurrency so i absolutely i'm absolutely shilling watching the consensus and if you live in new york city heading over there and watching it live yourself i highly suggest Thank you guys for watching this week's weekly cryptocurrency review. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, please leave a like. If you have anything you want to say, please leave it in the comments. 
please subscribe if you want to. We'll come up with great new videos every once in a while or every more frequently than once in a while. Check out our Discord in the link below and our social media, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter. You can all find it in the description. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much.